What exactly is Shadow PC? Well, essentially, it's a system as a service. It's a virtual PC which you hire or rent on a monthly basis, and it's accessible to you over the internet from anywhere. So as long as you have an internet connection, pretty much on any device, Android, Windows, Mac, and Linux, you can hop onto this virtual machine. Now the virtual machine itself is a Windows 10 machine, and it has a GTX 1080, a decent CPU, we'll talk more about that in a moment, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD of standard, upgradable with an additional one terabyte. Now it'll usually cost you 26 pounds a month. It's currently on offer at 19 pounds 99, and you can use my referral code below to get it for 9 pounds 99 for the first month. That's only for the first month, you get it for a tenner, and then after that it goes back to the usual 26 pounds a month. So, by combining DaVinci Resolve, which is completely free, with Shadow PC, which costs you less than 30 quid a month, you've got yourself a high-end editing machine, which is available from any device that you have. That is a really interesting proposition. And that's exactly what we're gonna have a look at in this video today. I've been running it for a few weeks now, I'm pretty impressed with it, and I figured I'd give you guys a demonstration, show you the pros and the cons to using Shadow PC with DaVinci Resolve. Now, as you can see, I'm wrapped up warm because we're gonna be going out in a little bit, but first, let's do a quick demonstration at home of how it works on the home PC. So here we are. This is my local desktop PC. This is the actual device sitting in my house. Now, you can see I've got an icon called Shadow. So I'm gonna click on this, and this is gonna open up the Shadow Launcher. And here it is. Right, now Shadow is entirely internet based so obviously it was massively dependent on your internet connection now I have Virgin's 200 megabyte connection now they actually recommend that you have at least 15 megabytes so the minimum is 15 they recommend a little bit more um, but you can use it on 15 the UK average broadband speed is apparently 40 megabytes per second so what I'm actually going to do is allocate the bandwidth to 30 I'm going to leave it 30 megabits per second so it's a good demonstration for you all now Let's click start. First of all, it's just gonna search for my shadow. Hopefully it will find it, which it has, and it'll try and attempt to boot it up, which should hopefully not take too long. And then once it's booted, we should receive the video feed from the shadow. So just waiting for video now. I've not cut that at all. That's as long as it takes. And there we go. So this is the login screen for my shadow box. So let me just log in. So here we are. This is the desktop for my shadow PC. Now just to prove it, let's hop out of here. We'll minimize this. This is my local desktop. This is my shadow PC desktop. Once you, you're on your shadow, it is just a Windows 10 PC and you can do everything that you usually do on your local machine. So to actually get DaVinci Resolve on here, you just go to the website, you head straight to DaVinci Resolve, you download it, install it, and then you're good to go. Now, let me just boot Resolve, and while that's loading, I'm just gonna show you. So, here we go, we have an Intel Xeon CPU E5-2678 version three, running at 2.5 gigahertz. There's actually a few different CPUs that they use. That one that I'm showing you just now is the most common. I've had that every single time I've logged on for the past week or so. There was a slightly old one, which is not quite as good, but that one's actually being rolled out. So they're getting rid of that one and upgrading it to this one. There's a third config as well, which is a 3.2 gigahertz one, but again, I haven't seen that one for a while. We have 12 gigabytes of RAM. We have a 256 gigabyte SSD as my primary drive. We have a one terabyte D drive. We have our ethernet port and we have a GTX 1080 as the graphics card. So it's a pretty well spec device. Now, let me open a new project. And before we actually get into the nitty gritty of DaVinci Resolve, I just wanted to let you know the biggest caveat, the biggest con, the biggest problem to using this solution. And that is actually getting your media from 
your local machine to the shadow device because it's limited via your upload speed. Because you're actually uploading it across the internet to the shadow, you're limited by your connection. Fortunately, they've been quite clever. So this E drive here is actually my memory card reader plugged into my local PC. You can mount it so it appears as a regular drive on your shadow. So that's very clever. But we can open this up. I'm just gonna grab this file here, copy that, and we'll dump it on the desktop. Now you'll see this isn't as quick as you'd expect. Usually when you're copying from a card to your desktop, it's pretty rapid, but this is limited by my home broadband upload speed. It's not the end of the world if you've got a gig or two. 15, 20 minutes, it's all there, and then you're just ready to go. If you've got 20, 30, 40, 50 gigabytes worth of data to upload to your shadow, that's gonna take some time and that's gonna be the limiting factor as to whether this solution is useful to you or not. Just cancel that, let's have a look in DaVinci. So this is DaVinci Resolve, as you'd all expect it. I'm actually just gonna to go to playback and turn off optimized media so you can see it running the native video files and I'm not using optimized media to make it look better than it is. And I'm gonna show you proxy mode is currently set to off. So let's go to media and let's import some stuff. As you can see here, I've got two 1080p clips and three 4K video files. If I just preview this, that's playing perfectly well. And this 4K clip, little bit of stutter, and then it sorted itself out. And that's running at full 4K, 24 frames per second. So that's all right. Let's head into the edit. Let's just grab all of these, shove them on here. So as you can see, it's pretty quick. The 1080p footage is playing at full 24 frames per second without any stuttering, any issues whatsoever. Wait for that transition to the next clip. Perfectly smooth, no stuttering, happy days. Let's cut this down a bit. We'll just edit this, make this one a bit shorter. Cool. And then let's play that. Playing perfectly well. Remember this is a full 4K clip with no proxy modes, nothing clever going on at all there. It runs perfectly well. Once we're done, we can hit deliver, render this out and then upload it to YouTube or wherever we wanna go. Which leads me on really nicely to one of the other big benefits to this. We'll go to YouTube. We'll also go to speed test. So this is the speed test from the shadow device and you'll notice it's very, very quick. Each device gets a one gigabit internet connection. So for starters we have a zero ping, so we have a better than one millisecond ping, which is insanely fast. You'll struggle to get that anywhere in the UK and you're getting nearly a thousand megabits per second download and then the upload is usually about a hundred or so, which looks about right. So what does that actually mean for you guys? Well, if we go to YouTube, I'm just going to upload a video into my test folder and I've got this one here, 217 megabytes. That 217 megabyte clip is going to be uploaded in about, what, 14 seconds? Which is just insanely quick. If you've got a one, two, three gigabyte file, it will take no time at all to upload from your shadow to YouTube which is actually a really nice time saver. Now, what we're gonna do is just file, save this project, and that's it. We're not gonna render it. We're actually gonna go outside, take the laptop, and we're gonna pick up where we left off. Right, so we're leaving the comfort of the old home, and we're going to just drive out into the middle of nowhere, and we'll have a look at how well it works on 4G. The shadow!
Here we are. I've just driven for a little bit to get us out into the middle of nowhere. As you can see, not much going on around here. And we're going to boot up the shadow and we'll give it a test out here. Right, so we're all set up. Um, I've booted the surface up and we're using a hotspot. So let me show you on here. There you go. So we've set up the hotspot and on here the Wi Fi is connected to Pixel 2146. So let's just do a quick speed test. So the ping is really high, we're getting 60 milliseconds ping, so that may cause some trouble. But the actual download speed is pretty quick actually, we're getting 60 odd megabits a second, so that's not bad at all. So, I've already booted up Shadow, now what I'm actually going to do is set it to its lowest bandwidth, so we're going to use 5 megabits a second, and I've set it to use uh, H.265 encoding, because it's good for low connection. Then we're going to hit start, and keep your fingers crossed. And we are in. So I've just reopened the demo we started earlier. And we can hit play. Hello, folks. It's Alex here. And there you go. Today, it's playing. So we're out in the middle of nowhere and we can continue editing that video. Let's make some quick changes to it just for the hell of it. And now what we're going to do is deliver. And we're done. 26 seconds that took to output a 20-ish second 4K video file, which is now ready to upload. And I can upload it because it's on Shadow, I get my full one gigabit connection. I can upload it to YouTube in no time at all. Oh, it's really cold. So that's it. That's the end of this video. Hopefully it was useful. I'm going to be doing more videos on Shadow, so I definitely think it's worth talking about, especially for content creators like us. Um, I will obviously do a little bit on gaming, because that's actually the main point of it. I'll do some stuff on gaming as well. But I just thought it was worth talking about from, from our point of view, from a content creator point of view, because it's a really cool solution, and I think it's probably the way it's going to go. So it costs £26.99 a month, as I've mentioned, but it's currently on offer for £19.99, and then you can use my referral code to get an additional tenner off, so it's £9.99 for the first month, and then 26 quid thereafter. Now, I will be completely upfront. My referral code may get me some goodies if you use it. I might get a free T-shirt or something out of it, but, yeah, I'm not too bothered about that. I'm not going to sway my opinion of it just for a few goodies. So if you'd rather use someone else's, please go ahead. Linus has just posted a video and he's got a referral code, so go ahead and use that one instead if you prefer. Um, my opinion, try it. For a tenner, for a tenner for one month, try it. Give it a whirl. Have a play with it. See if it meets your needs. If it doesn't, you can cancel. There's no um, contract. You're not signed in for 12 months. You can cancel it after a couple of weeks and you've only lost a tenner. In my opinion, it's definitely worth looking at. You might not like it, but if you don't, you've only lost a tenner. It's definitely worth a try. There's some runners coming past, isn't there? Oh, running. I forgot what I say now. Yes, I'll be back with some more Shadow videos and some more general DaVinci Resolve videos and all that other good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, as always. If you do like Shadow, pop a comment below. Let me know if you decide to give it a whirl. If there's anything you'd like to see, any niche things of Shadow you'd like to see, comment below. I'll be sure to make a video for you to show you some of them if there's a particular demonstration you'd like to see. As always, take it easy, guys, and I will see you next time.